to be looking down um, today. I'm just going to be talking about the, the sea moss. I know I said I was going to come back and do the video showing you me preparing it. But I just want to tell you what I put in mind and it's so good. And I did just, uh, I guess it's a large um, teaspoon, I mean tablespoon, because it's larger than the average tablespoon. So it's like um, a tablespoon uh, and a half of sea moss. And I blended in uh, a muscle, um, muscle shake along with a banana and the banana of the muscle drink was banana and also with banana and it was so good um so that was just what i did but i want you guys to leave uh, a comment down below um what you use your sea moss in did you just take the sea moss plain or what else um you added to it so I was thinking when I was at the store I saw a lot of frozen fruits um, that they had um, but I prefer just to freeze my own but I was thinking about getting some because they had frozen bananas and uh, a bunch of other mixed fruits and strawberries and blueberries and um, I think raspberries so I was thinking about getting that but I just want to know what what all you guys mixing yours um so i just want to know how you guys doing um i'm on my way to um drop a order off so and pick up some packages but um yeah so and this video is going it's not going to be long at all and um I'm just thankful and grateful for you all tuning in, making this channel um, be what it is today. I thank you for the um, just the the support that I have um, on this platform. So I just want to come and share that with you guys. And today is a beautiful day, a new day. And I'm just thankful for the day that I'm in today. And I'm going to deal with whatever comes in it. So, and that's my advice for you too today. So, yeah. Um, I have some more of the stuff that um, I'm going to bring to you guys. Um, I have uh, over 40 something herbs that I want to discuss. But... Every time I discuss them, I get flagged because it has health benefits in it for today's issue. Um, so, yeah, and that's, you know, to be expected because uh, even though they said by the, their guidelines, you wouldn't be, but I, I'm still getting it. But, yeah, guys, um... Um, that's another thing that I want to come to while I was saying the muscle drink. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> I'm going to display my actual weight of what I'm wearing. And I'm just going to take you guys on that journey. Because some things can affect how <clears throat> your healing um, come about. Um, so you just... Yes, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I was just saying that um, a lot of things can be affected by your health, your size. <clears throat> and to get the most out of what you're doing, sometimes you may need to put on some weight or start eating the healthy things or lose weight. <clears throat> Mines, I have to lose weight. Um, <clears throat> so... I would like to go on a journey with you guys of what I do, um, but I'm waiting for some things to get in that place that I can do it with you guys, because <clears throat> I'm very disappointed in myself, but I lost a little, 
so far with the little things that I'm doing, but to kick it up, I, I, I feel that I need these things to help it um, do better. But <clears throat> comment down below if you would like to go on that journey with me. Um, and even if you don't have some of the things that I have, what I did back in <clears throat> years ago, I just cut my portion down and I exercised. I was outside with my kids running. I was jumping. I was, we were um, jumping ropes, skating, riding the bike. So it, you can, you can still have the same foods that you cook for everybody in your own. Cause that's what I was doing. Only thing that I did <clears throat> was I will cook my food a little different with, I'll, I'll use the Pam spray instead of using the actual butter. Or if I did have whatever I cook for my family, I will only have a small portion. Especially if I didn't have what I needed to um, so-called diet. <clears throat> All it is is just cutting back on what you're eating. And not ha including a lot of starch and bread, sodas and fried food. Just basically cooking your stuff at home. And if you can't cook your foods at home, make sure whatever you're getting out of the the fast food chains that you include extra um, um, lettuce and tomato and less of the sauce so whatever you're doing <clears throat> and that's I lost plenty of weight doing that because I just couldn't afford to buy all the diet food things that they were saying that you would need now that I know that it's not according to buying the diet foods studies have showed that the diet foods are were keeping you from losing the weight but don't take my word for it do your own research on that um <clears throat> but yeah i just cut back like instead of having a leg or a thigh or a breast i would just have the wing just one wing just to, you know please that meat thing and if I had a starch like rice or potato, which I love potatoes, I would just have the a potato and maybe just some green onions and onions. I love onions and green onions. So I would just doll it up with um, vegetables and like broccoli and stuff like that. And maybe just a little dab of cream, I mean sour cream, not much. <clears throat> and um you know just yeah I, you know because if you can't afford the just buying vegetable vegetable vegetables every day unless you have it in your garden then that's better but if you don't have it in your garden that's something different so <clears throat> excuse me so that's my thing on that so don't be afraid like if you have some just get you some proportions do you some proportions <clears throat> excuse me do you some proportions in it and like um if i had a vegetable that i cook with whatever i have a lot of vegetables and i also have a lot of lettuce i love lettuce i can just eat lettuce by itself i love lettuce so that's what i would do like if i i cooked anything and i didn't have anything that i considered or was considered to be a diet uh, food. I would just cut back what I fix for my family in on the palm of my hand portion. So however big the palm of your hand, that's how much of rice you should have. And to me, it worked for me. I can't speak for you or whatever. Just whatever you feel that, that works for you. I'm going to do what works for me and that's what worked for me thus far. I just got off my regimen because a lot of things that I was dealing with. So... <clears throat> And me, I'm one that if I'm stressed out, I will eat that way. I will eat, 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 eat stressfully. So whatever you're dealing with, um, your goals, just know you can stay having the foods that you're having preparing at your home. It's just that you need to cut it down, um, cut your proportions in half. So until next time, you guys, I have a lot that I have to do, a lot that I want to bring. So stay tuned. Until the next one, you be blessed.